What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, so by now we have three nodes, two members, all of our supports, and one load at joint number two. I'm just gonna show you guys that a different way to create the loads. It still is possible to not have to en enter everything in manually, except for the magnitudes. Let's say we still wanna have a magnitude of positive 10. Uh, scale the load, no, X direction, okay, joints. Leave that as a zero. And just like before, when we clicked on something, it would actually activate it as well, like clicking on node one to create the member. We just want to throw a highlight over node number two, see how it threw the uh, the load of our 10 kilonewtons in the positive right direction. So same thing, you can either highlight, click on it, or enter it all manually. And then one thing to, to note is that because we have our scale load set as no over here, we always need to click on edit, load status, and just throw a scale factor of one so that's basically saying that now we're scaling the fact, scaling our load one times what we've entered. So if we put in a two, it's gonna apply a 20 kilonewton force, but we just wanna leave a 10 kilonewton force, so we're just gonna have scale factor of one. Then on the right-hand side, go to update and press okay. So that's very, very crucial. Remember you do that after applying any kind of load on any structure or any project. Under edit, load status, scale at one. Okay, so make sure it's at one. Update and OK. So now we're going to run our program, run our analyses, and get some results. So remember always to save. We always want to save it because if we have any time and any modifications to our structure or our project between the last time we saved and the time we run our analysis, we're going to get an error. So always remember to save. Now at the top, beside Options and Window, you'll see the Run button. And then click on analysis and we're doing linear static press okay and then it thinks for a second and perfect we have zero fyi zero warnings and zero errors and then it says press any key to proceed so this is the typical screen that comes up every time you run the analysis if there's any errors they'll come up if there's any uh, fyi's they'll come and show you fyi's don't really stop or prohibit you from getting your results but if there's any warrant or if there's any errors then you're going to have to find out and uh, find that error and actually correct it. So, press. And now we've got our results. And we're out of time. So, my next video, I'm going to show you how to interpret the results and how we can look at them in different ways.